Today we are talking about the Sony CCD FX230. Now this camera was manufactured in 1994 and it takes Hi8 video tapes. Um, this was not a Hi8 camcorder at the time, it was just a video 8. Now at any time, if you own a camera that is similar to this or even a VHS-C camera, um, I will have a link in the description for um, some batteries and some uh, video 8 video tapes if you are in need of those. And be sure to check out my eBay store as I have a few cameras on there and I'll be uploading um, another one in the near future. Also, I have a Discord page where everybody can get together and help each other out camcorder issues that they are having. So let's get into this camera. This camera is pretty basic to be honest. It doesn't really have a lot going for it to be honest. So this is another one of my dad's video cameras he got at um, a thrift store he worked at. He, he pretty much has all Sony cameras and uh, I'll be going over a few other ones as well. This camera has a 37 millimeter lens on it. So with some of the clips I will be actually using one of my fish eyes um, because I have an adapter that uh, works with it and my fish eye fits on it. So that'll be fun. It actually has CCD autofocus, which is great. It has a 10 times optical zoom on it. I don't believe it has digital zoom. Um, it is a video eight. Like I said, it's not digital eight. And this camera actually does not have a menu on it. Um, it has a few small features on the side, like you have your, uh, your date and time stamps that you can mess with here on the side. You have your counter reset button, you have a backlight button, and you have a tape and battery check button. So it just shows you how far along you are on the tape and how much battery life you have. You also have your power switch here on the side, which is this big kind of wheel right here and you push this little green button and that is the safety switch pretty much so that you're not accidentally moving it up and down. Um, and you can actually leave this in record mode and move over to the back and you have a standby and lock switch here. So you can turn it off and on with this while leaving the camcorder in the record position over here. So I find that really nice. And then obviously you have your record button which is the big red button that every camcorder has. It's hard to see but you got right here, you got your battery release button, which obviously releases the battery. And one thing I would like to note, um, this camcorder takes the same exact batteries as a VHS-C camcorder. So I have an old video I'll leave in the, in the cards above about kind of how this works, but I'll go over it briefly. You have the three connectors up here on the top, and that side is for VHS-C, and then the two that are by themselves kind of in the middle right there is for uh, video 8. You can use one side for VHS-C and the other side for video 8. If you do ever get a battery or of some sorts like this, uh, I recommend getting the one that is double-sided like this. That way you can use it with multiple different camcorders. And I'll leave a link in the description for a battery that is like this and also a charger. Um, it does have a remote plug-in for it or it is the, uh, the Sony Signature LANC. It is a 2.5 millimeter jack for that. It's a little bit smaller than like a headphone jack. You got your tape eject switch button here and your playback functions along the side over here. And one thing that I find, well, two things I find really nice about this is you can actually plug in a external mic right up here, and then it also has a cold shoe for mounting that uh, external mic. Or if you wanna add like a, uh, like a cold shoe handle to it, you can, which I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, and then uh, what it looks like with a fisheye on it, because it's actually kind of a funny contraption. On the side here as well, you have your, uh, audio video out, which it is only mono. And it also has a little switch here on the side um, so that you can toggle your uh, remote um, on and off. Along the top, you have your uh, your rocker zoom or your, your zoom function, which is a little funky. I noticed that it kind of, it moves and then you can, you can kind of feel it kind of like, it's like pushing a button. So it kind of has like a slow movement and then a fast movement. And then same thing with zooming out. So it kind of has like two speeds for the uh, the zooming function, which I find a little strange. I've never 
never felt one like that before. And then you have a really big viewfinder for this, and no, it does not have a LCD screen or any form of a screen, it only has a viewfinder. This thing is huge, this thing's long as heck, and it is a black and white viewfinder. So everything you see on it is going to be in black and white. Watching the video back, uh, it will be in color. Oh, I didn't know that. Look at that, I found that out. It goes 180 degrees. Pretty curious to see what the uh, video footage looks like because I actually haven't uh, done anything with it and filmed with it yet. So um, I'll show you what it looks like with the, uh, the fisheye and the cold shoe handle on it. Okay, so when I got this camcorder, it actually had this little uh, lens adapter on it. Um, so what it does is it bumps it up to, and I don't know why it was on there, but it bumps it up from a 37 to a 46 millimeter. And I already had a uh, step-up ring. That's what you call these, are step-up rings. I already had a step-up ring that went from a 46 to a 58 millimeter, which is this one. So what I was doing is I was actually putting them together and then you can actually attach a big old fisheye on this. And this is a 58 millimeter. Um, this is a 0.3x uh, fisheye lens or super fisheye by Optica. Kind of a, a, a low budget um, super fisheye lens. I think I got it for like 200 bucks or something, which still sounds like a lot, but other ones out there are like 750. So yeah, you can screw it onto the threads here, screw it onto the front. And this is the kind of fisheye that like you see in like skateboarding a lot. <laughs> so. It, it looks funny as hell because it's, it's just way, way bigger than the camcorder. And then what I um, I generally use is, this is a, just a cheap um, cold shoe handle. Um, these are more necessarily made for uh, attaching like monitors and extra mics and uh, other stuff like that, which is why it has all these different size threads and stuff like that in it. But it's not tall enough for most camcorders, so I found this little adapter and it screws into the bottom of it and kind of uh, steps it up a little bit more. And so you can just slide it right into the cold shoe and it screws right down onto it. And it's a little little tight on the fingers, but there you go. You got yourself a uh, skateboarding um, filming machine. Now you might be wondering, well, how are you supposed to hold it handheld like that and uh, film looking through the viewfinder? Well. The thing is with uh, these super, super wide fish eyes is they're so wide that uh, as long as you're pointing it pretty much at the direction of what you're filming, chances are you're going to uh, get whatever you are filming without even looking at it. So you just kind of point and shoot and hope for the best. That's what we'll uh, go ahead and do. All right, I'm now filming on the Sony CCD. FX 230. I don't know what it is about these old camcorders, but you gotta like back them way up when you when you're filming like this because it's there's so much more zoomed in than more modern uh, cameras and camcorders. I apologize for the weird staticky noise. I have a mic plugged in, and where it plugs into, I think it's kind of dirty. So I think that's where the noise right, is coming from. Now the from. mic is plugged in. Um, I'm actually using a Tackstar SGC598 uh, battery powered shotgun mic. It's really cheap. I actually have it for sale on my eBay store if you'd like to go and uh, pick it up. But I think it sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's working. I don't know if it's working or not until playback. <laughs> so hopefully you're not just hearing me through the, uh, the camera audio. So, uh, yeah, let's go uh, film some random things, huh? Hey, Jack. What are you doing? Are you lounging? Are you hanging out? We go see how warm it is outside? That sounds like fun, huh? Yeah. What's doing? What are you doing? As I usually do, I'm gonna go ahead and test the 10 times optical. There's no visual zoom, so let's see how far it zooms in on the mountains. And there's your 10 times 
What's your problem? What, Jack? I hope you enjoyed these clips. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like. And if you enjoy the content, checking out old camcorders, make sure you subscribe. And we will see you next time. Have a good one.